Hello everyone. Before starting the video. Please, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Introduction Purpose of making this video Hello. Welcome to my channel, Infotech. Today, in this video, I will configure the basic settings of a Ruckus R510 Unleashed AP. This AP is a member AP of the Ruckus Unleashed network. I mean, this access point has joined an Unleashed network and, it has the Unleashed firmware installed. If you don't know about a Ruckus Unleashed firmware, what is an Unleashed network, and how to build an Unleashed network, then, watch my previous videos. I will leave the links in the description. Actually, it is very simple to configure the basic settings of a Ruckus access point, working as a standalone AP, and with solo firmware installed. When we have to configure the settings of a Ruckus standalone access point, all we do is that, we individually access the web management interface of each access point, and then, configure all the settings as per our requirements. But, when we upgrade the firmware of these access points to Unleashed, and join the Unleashed network afterwards, then it will not be that much simple to configure the basic settings of these access points by directly accessing the web interface of each access point and then make the required configurations. The reason is that, after upgrading the firmware to Unleashed and joining the Unleashed network, we will not be able to access any AP's web interface individually via its IP address. All the access points will then be managed centrally via Unleashed Network's web management interface. So, be with me and watch the full video without skipping any part. Let's start the video. Checking the current configurations of an Unleashed access point. To change the basic settings of a Ruckus Unleashed access point, I will first access the web management interface of my Unleashed network. I will open an internet browser and then, enter the full URL to access the web management interface of our Unleashed network, then press the enter button. Press the advance button. Then click on the link given below. On the login page of the Unleashed web management interface, enter the username and password. Then click on the Unleash button. Since I will be configuring the basic settings of an access point. So, I will look for the Access Points tab. We can see that, there are a total of three access points joined this Unleashed network. All three access points are working properly. To check the details of an access point, I will click on this tab to expand it. On the top, there are two types of view options. Number 1. AP View. Number 2. Group View. I will explain these two options briefly here. All the access points with current configurations will be shown under the AP View. The summary shows that how many unleashed access points have joined this network. Below the summary, name of the access points are displayed along with AP's number. We can see that three access points, number 1, 2, and 3 are here. To show you the current configurations of an access point, let me select one from the list. I will select AP number 2. On the right side, name of the selected AP will be displayed along with its MAC address. If I click on the Show AP Info option to expand it, we will see all the current and basic configurations of this access point. I will highlight a few, which are important and, we may need this for later use. I will show you later on in this video, how we can change these configurations, if required. Number 1, the device name. Number 2, the MAC address. Number 3, the IP address. Number 4, the model number of this access point. Number 5, the group name. Remember that all the unleashed access points, upon joining the Unleashed Network, will be added to this default group, named, System Default. We can then move these access points to other groups. I will make another video on these groups. 
So, for now, I will not go into the details of this group topic. Number 6, Maximum Clients. By default, the allowed number of maximum clients per access points is set to 100. Upon exceeding this number, the AP will restrict users to connect to the network. I will show you how to change the allowed number of clients for this AP. Number 7, the firmware version installed on this AP. Next important settings are the Ethernet ports and its status. There are two Ethernet ports on this Ruckus R510 access point. One port is the simple one and other is the PoE port. Since, this AP is connected to my test network via port number 2, that's why it is saying that port 1 is down. Most important thing to keep in mind that, always check the speed of the connected port. It must be set to the full and highest speed. In my case, it is working on 1000 Mbps speed, means 1 gigabit per second. If, for some reasons, it shows 100 Mbps, then troubleshoot this problem first. If not, then this AP will not perform well, hence, before proceeding, make sure that this AP is connected to the network with the highest possible Ethernet speed. If I scroll down further, there is an option, which will tell us about the client status, which are connected for the last hour. Same way, under the traffic option, we can check the traffic, generated by the users against each frequency, I mean, the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. It will show all the transferred and received traffic of the clients for the last hour. How to change the current configurations of an unleashed access point. If I wanted to change any of these configurations of this particular AP, how would I do that? To change the configurations of a particular unleashed AP, first select the AP and make sure that the access point you wanted to change the configurations of is selected. Then, on the left side, click on the Edit button. Edit AP page will be displayed. Under the first general tab, we will find the MAC address of this AP. Next if we want to change the device name, we can change it from here. The same way, we can add the description and location of this AP. Next tab is, Radio 2.4 GHz. Below are all the configurations relevant to Radio 2.4 GHz frequency. Keep in mind that, if we change any of the below option here, then this will override all the changes at the group level for this AP. Let's suppose, if I disable the wireless LAN service here for radio 2.4 GHz, then, it doesn't matter, if I enable the same settings at group level, and the wireless LAN level, this AP will still not broadcast 2.4 GHz signals. I will explain in my next video that, what are the groups and wireless LAN services and, how can we modify these settings. Since, these settings will be directly applied to this access point, that is the reason, these settings have the highest priority over others. I will suggest, not to change any settings here for now. The next tab is, Radio 5 GHz. Again, any changes here, under the Radio 5 GHz tab, will have the highest priority, than changes at other level. So, I will suggest, for now, do not make any changes under this tab as well. Next tab is the Network Configuration tab. Here we can change the IP information as per our need. The selected option, which says, keep APs setting, if this option is selected, means these are the old settings of this AP. In simple words, these are the setting, which did not change after upgrading the firmware of this access point from solo to unleashed. The option, DHCP means that, this access point will get an IP address and other information from the DHCP server on the network. Remember that, always reserve a unique IP address for each access point or network device on the DHCP server. We can assign a static IP address manually, along with other information, by selecting the manual option. Next tab is the other tab. We can enable or disable the LED status here. Since, I am satisfied with all these settings, so, I will leave everything as it is. I will close this configuration page.
Basic Group View Settings If I click on the Group View option, we will see all the groups that I created here, along with the system default group. The summary says that there are three AP groups are available here. If I click on each group one by one, we will find here all the three groups. By default, there will be only one group named System Default. All the access points after joining the Unleashed network will be added to this group. Upon creating other groups, we can then move these access points to other groups. At a time, one access point can be a member of only one group. I will explain these groups in my next video. If I click on the system default group. On the right side, we can see that, currently there is only one AP in this group. To edit a group, select the group, and then press the edit button. Edit group page will appear. Here, again, we will see the different tabs like, WLAN, 2.4G, 5G and other tabs. As I mentioned before, these are the group options, which will be overridden, if we change any of these on the access point level. One important option, which I wanted to show is under the other tab. Click on the other tab. We will find here an option, maximum clients. This is very important option. By default all the access points, in the list of supported models, are set to allow 100 clients only. If we want to change the number of maximum clients then, first we will select the specific model of that access point from the list and then, we can change the maximum number of clients for that AP. Keep in mind that, this number must not exceed, the actual maximum number of clients supported by that particular AP. In my case it is Ruckus R510. So, if I wanted to change the maximum number of clients for this AP, then, I will first select the exact AP from the list, and then, set the maximum number of clients, for that access point for this specific group. But this number of clients must not exceed 512, because Ruckus R510 AP supports up to 512 concurrent users. Keep in mind that, if we have different models of access points on our Unleashed network, the changes here will be applied, only to the selected access points from the list. I will close the group configuration page. Now, I will show you that, how can we reboot a specific access points from Unleashed Network Management Interface. How to reboot and delete an Unleashed access point. For that, I will first click on the AP View option. Now, select the access point, which we want to reboot. And then press the restart button. The access point will reboot. The same way, if we want to remove any disconnected access point from the list, then, select the access point, and then press the remove button. If I go to the group view, again, the same way I can delete any group I want to. All I have to do is, select the group, and then press the remove button. The selected group will be deleted and, all the access points inside this group, will be moved to the system default group. That's it. In this video, we have gone through, the different basic configurations of an unleashed access point and, we also learned that, how can we change these settings if required. If you think, this video was helpful, then before leaving, do not forget to like, share and hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching this video. Next video. In my next video, I will try to cover the following important topics. Creating and configuring wireless LAN services and their options. Creating and configuring access point groups. Configuring the maximum number of connecting clients. Hi. If you like this video, then, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also leave your query in the comments section below. I will be more than happy to entertain. Thanks.